Kyra Gray. Hi. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, hello. Fellow Jamaicans in the building. Yes, of course, of course, of course. But let's just be real. Jamaican households. Mm. What was your upbringing like? <sighs> interesting. Mm-hmm. Let's say interesting. Full of character. Uh, I feel like that's the only way you can really describe it. There's so many things that happen that you think are normal and then you tell your friends and you're like, oh, mm. what, you man? Your grandma never told you the devil's going to ride you. <laughs> what? Excuse me? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> but it's just so funny, man, because I feel like Jamaicans just have so much character and you can see it in society, man. So that's all implemented in you from a child. All the yeah. little sayings, all the little the morals, the little, just the little, the small little hacks, just small things, man. It's just the vibes are in the DNA. For real. It's just, yeah, one of a kind, man. Yeah, I feel like even just the way that Jamaicans are naturally, like, yeah. there's banter, of yeah. course, but then there's the serious side. Yeah, I yeah. feel like the way my mum raised me, by the time I got out into the real world, it's like, you lot can't chat to me. Like, you I've, can't heard, I've heard worse. Me. It's all right. Like, <laughs> you lot can't harm me, man. You lot didn't get beaten, mm. and then your mum said, I'll give you something to cry for. You know them ones. <laughs> You lot can't hurt me, man. I'm all right. Carry on. Yeah. And worst thing, one time I tried to tell my mum, I was like, oh, I'm going to tell my teacher. And she was like, your teacher buck fucked. <laughs> said, you don't even know what that means, but you said, hey. It's like, how am I going to take that one to her? Like, <laughs> my mum said. Like, mm. I remember one time I told my mum I was going to call Childline. Oh, yeah. That, that's the, the worst phone. one. Yeah, yeah. No, she'll be like, call them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go on, call yeah. them. Go on, man. <laughs> See how far you get. I said, look. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, mm, it's I don't all right, do it anymore. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. It's okay, well. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? <laughs> so, what kind of music was growing up in your house? Because in my house, I feel like it wasn't just reggae, love and rock. Like it was everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, my mom, interesting. My mom's a. She used to be a house promoter. Oh. So, like, she used to do house raids and stuff. So, mm-hmm. house, funky house, garage, and reggae were like. Yeah. The main thing in my household. So it was just, just constant headaches, man. <laughs> All the bass, every single one of those genres are heavy in bass. So that's that's, what, that's how I am. I think that just that's probably why I'm the way I am, to be honest. Yeah. Now speaking of music in the house, I remember my brother used to play music in his bedroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And obviously the newer songs now have swear words in yeah. it. And I just remember my mum calling from downstairs like, "Stop the bad <laughs> word, them in the house." <laughs> And I was like way too young to even know which word was a bad one. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what age I hit where I was confident enough to play Spice in front of my mum. Mm, no. But the reaction on her face. She, no, she can't stand the, the rawness the slackness, of it. And they, they like, call it. Yes, yeah, slackness. <laughs> and when you listen back to what they were listening to, it's mm-hmm. all right. <laughs> Lady Saw. You, excuse me. No, it's actually ridiculous, man. The hypocrisy yeah. is loud. Where do you think Spice and them are getting it from? Do you think they just... Decided one day to yeah, be to be up. raw. No, man. It's no. outrageous. And even, like, the discipline. Because sometimes I'd rather take the beating than the long, like, talking to me for ages going, yeah, and this, and yeah. that, and and I'm like, I'm going to cry. Yeah, no, I got both. <laughs> like, I got to a point, my, just my mum shouting at me used to make me cry. It oh, actually yeah. used to put tears in my eyes. For real. It was... So there was no beating or long talk. You're getting both. Yeah. And you have to sit there. Don't cry. Oh, and don't walk away. Don't well. walk away. Don't cry. What? <laughs> Be a robot. Just stay there. Just, just take it all in. Yeah, just and, look and me in my eye. When I'm done, I won't let you know. And they're beating in between the speech. And they used to beat in syllables as well. So it's sort of like you oh, just yeah, 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 have yeah, the beating yeah. and let and it this, marinate. That, yeah. That. Don't ever chat. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. I was very good at English. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For real. And even talking about Jamaican households, house names though, nicknames, where yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, do, where do they come from? Any name in general, I don't really understand where it came from and why it's actually just a, a countrywide thing. Yeah. Every Jamaican has a story about how their uncle's name is not their name. And I don't yeah. understand why everyone just thought, not legally, you lot just Didn't decided it? to change your name and everyone just ran with it. Mm-hmm. I learned the other day, my nan, who... I thought her name was Joy. Her name is not Joy. And I learned that a couple months ago. I'm 25 years old. Yeah. And it's the complete opposite. I was like, where did you even get that from? She said, I didn't, we never like it. So what? Just changed it. Just like changed that. it. Because I've got, I've got 
three uncles, I think. Yeah, three uncles yeah. with different names. So I got Uncle Mike, his name's Roy Byrne. I got Uncle Bill, his name's Roderick. And I got Uncle George, and his name's Carson. <laughs> and it's, it's, what kills me is that like, it's never, it's not even like a nickname. No. <laughs> it's a completely different name. From where though? Where did you get it from? My grandma's um, brother, I don't know his name. But everyone just called him Uncle Dad. Mm. And I don't know where that came from, but it's just the nick. It's, I, I don't even yeah. think people know his real name anymore. It gets to that point. Mm. But 40, 50 years after you're calling someone something, you don't know what their real name is. No, not at all. Yeah, no. And then there's the other type of names where it's something you've done. Yeah. And now you're just that. Yeah, the nickname. Yeah. Yeah, no yeah. respect. My uncle will talk about this guy. They call him Number One. Yeah. Because he's Number One at parking. Like. <laughs> I don't know his name. <laughs> you just don't have any manners, man. Even when you, was it Top Boy? Like, Put the crippled boy in the gear. Like, that's, <laughs> yeah. What they see is what you're called. There's no, you can't, you can't be sensitive around Jamaicans. No, man. not at all. You can't have a lisp. Nothing. You can't have a bop. You can't have a little hip out of place. No. But it's from you walk in. It's yeah. not even like, oh, hi, how are you? Da, da, da. It's like, that? bro, I want that on your face. Yeah. What? Like, hi, uncle, long time. No, it? Like- <laughs> none of that. I remember when I came back from uni for the first, it was like, I think it was my third year and I came back to see my grandma after months and she told me I looked like an American football player. <laughs> she said, mm-mm, you're top heavy, you're top heavy. Mm-mm. I said, <laughs> Not no hello, Isn't it? not how's uni, not like you, clearly you're eating well. That's all I got nah. from that conversation. Like, it was ridiculous, man. No, no filter whatsoever. Yeah, but no. But it builds all. your skin, yeah. I guess. Yeah, we're oh. talking all things Jamaica. Because it's Windrush Day, 75 years since Empire Windrush came to the UK. Crazy. Now we're just Jamaicans living in the UK, isn't just it? Just chilling. Just chilling. Crazy. <laughs> what was school like for you and that difference between home and school school to be fair hmm, I think school was always an interesting one because growing up in Croydon Mm. it was predominantly black anyway but a lot of my friends were West African Mm -hmm. so I was the only Jamaican in my friendship group Uh, for the most part so like there was always just a funny dynamic from when I go to my friend's house and then when I come back to my house just seeing how everyone is different but the same Mm. like the fundamental laws are the same but the way they're enforced there's a slight difference there yeah definitely I feel like one of the phrases I remember from my mum is always I'm not one of your little friends mum I said but I didn't say you were you know (laughs) <laughs> you have to say, but 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 Sarah's mum lets her. That I'm not I'm not Sarah's mum. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Sarah's mum. Go live with Sarah's mum. Mm. Yeah. There was no. There's no way out, man. They hate when you compare parents. You can't eat from nobody house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't know what's in there. Could be Obi in there. It's ridiculous, man. I, went, I remember my first sleepover. I wasn't allowed to go to sleepovers. Oh really? Because there's a bed in my yard. Why am I sleeping mm. at other people's yards? <laughs> Yeah, and my first sleepover, my mum, the day before, she went over to the woman's house so that we could inspect the house. Oh, wow. <laughs> she made the woman give us a tour of her house. <laughs> and I'm just standing there following my mum going from house to house like she's buying the place. Yeah, trying not to be embarrassed. You know how ridiculous yeah. that is? <laughs> a tour. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, my mum didn't do that, but that is funny. It's actually outrageous, man. Every every day, my mom just showed her madness a little bit more and more. Yeah, no, I used to be scared for like teachers and stuff. So anytime anything happened at school, I'd be like, mm, I won't tell my mom that bit because if she comes to the school, you're not gonna like it. Yeah, no, what? My mom, to be fair, I was quite a good student. I was just mm. a class clown. I was just, yeah, yeah. I was just chatty. I wasn't rude or anything because I already yeah. knew. I think that was the one time I got a letter home, and the, that journey home. Oh, the tears in my eyes, the fear that was inside. They don't, these kids don't have fear like that anymore. No. My little sister would get a detention, be like, I got a detention. <laughs> huh? And my mum would just be like, again? No. And I'm like, what do you mean again? No. I used to get beaten if I had one detention. Yeah, no. It's, it's crazy, man. I would have been too scared for that. you got to make sure you come home in good time or at least yeah. let, let her know, innit? Yeah, crazy. Um, let's talk about funny phrases, yeah. Because mm-hmm. sometimes you'll be doing stuff in the house, yeah. 
Something might drop on the floor. And your mum goes, yeah, smash up the place. Yeah, smash everything. Then it smash everything. <laughs> They're just so dramatic. <laughs> and that, you can, it can be a fork in the sink. In it? Yeah, just smash one up little thing. Yes. My grandma used to do that. Yeah. One time she dashed the frying pan at me. <gasps> I dodged it. You know when you dodge something yeah. there? What did she do when Brilliant. you dodged it? <laughs> she couldn't even be too angry because I wasn't even the one she was mad at. You know what I mean? I was just, I walked in at the wrong time. Yeah. She was in the wrong mood. And she cussed my whole bloodline. Then she dashed the frying pan at me. I said, dodge that. I just said, whoop, not the time. <laughs> that was crazy. And then we have this thing about duppies though. Yeah. Like we, we don't play with duppies then. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Not at all, man. My grandma taught me that from a young age. Have and you ever seen one? I've never, I've never seen a ghost. Yeah, me But me when both. my grandma used to say the whole, like, if you sleep on your back, the devil will rise you, <laughs> yeah? When she told me that, I started having sleep paralysis soon after that. Ooh. So there was one time I didn't listen to her, and then it happened. I said, the doppy, oh no. Because <laughs> I just saw something in the corner of the room, and you can't move. Like, it's actually, it's the worst thing yeah. in the world. So yeah, in my mind, it was the devil. It mm. was the doppy. But I know it was sleep paralysis, so yeah, yeah man. Dumping our hoof the fright. Listen, like they got sayings for days, man. So many monkey say, monkey do. Mm. Never know what that means, too tough. No, just means you follow fashion, you copy. Mm. My mum, my um, my mum told me when she was younger. She, my grandma used to send her to the shop, mm. and she used to say to her, "You've got until I spit on the floor and it dries up to come home." <laughs> Why? Like, why are we spitting? Why don't you just say five minutes? Why don't you just say ten minutes? <laughs> Everything is just drama from the get-go. Everything's drama with them, man. It's so funny. But it's when you're when we were younger, yeah, like in school, mm-hmm. and then your mum just you're chilling, minding your business, in it. Might be a Sunday or whatever. Mm-hmm. You might make up a little too much noise, mm-hmm. and then you hear you pick up a book from morning. <gasps> Please, man. Sorry. Any, any little thing that goes wrong, it's because you're on your phone all the time. Oh, no, my mum loves that, that one. one. My grandma used to love that. If they I was love on the phone it. a minute before I was meant to be in bed, put on the phone. Mm. You and this phone, phone, phone. Just Everything, phone, phone, social media. If your friend them call you, you will come out. I'm sorry. You've been dropped down dead now. Like, oh, yeah, come blood on, pressure. Man. <laughs> that as well. And Jamaican grandparents and their morbidness. <laughs> oh, yeah, miss one dead. Yeah. Right. See you tomorrow, grand. Well. <laughs> If God will, is it so? Excuse me? Excuse in me? It, like, I'll that see is? you tomorrow. Like. I, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. They think it's a joke, man. They're I just really think they do. get to a certain age and they're like, well, hmm. whatever happened. Jesus. Jesus. Hmm. God's will. God's will, <laughs> yeah. My grandma said that to a doctor. Oh, wow. And it was not a good situation, yeah? <laughs> they don't understand that they can't bring the Jamaicanness yeah. into a conversation with a doctor because they take everything no my as uncle you say. did that one time he said that oh now I have diabetes <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what happened after that that's crazy <laughs> oh, they're just so funny man they're so funny any sickness mm. nah isn't it what what do you mean mental health come on man mm-hmm. lactose intolerance oh be for real they love to uh, white people something that. Mm. What? What do you mean? What does that even mean? What are you actually talking about? Isn't it? You were fine before. Yeah, but now I'm not. <laughs> it can change. Yeah. You know? And they think because they, they think allergies came out of nowhere. Yeah. No, you used to get a rash every time you ate peanuts. Mm. That's because it's you have allergy. an allergy. <laughs> You're not strong. It's Isn't not it? eczema. And it's yeah. always a competition as yeah. well. I'm um, stressed. Me stress out. Oh, too. that's what I hate. That's what I hate. After I know, you know, you know, work. Isn't you know, pay no bill. You know, wash the clothes. Oh. Them, my cook out. We you know about stress. You're stressed because of school. In it, math, mathematics. They love saying the whole word. Yeah, every single syllable. That's so funny, man. Do you think we need a dictionary? <laughs> I quite like how everything's just up for interpretation. Mm. Because I feel like that way. You can apply any saying to your life and just take it how you want. Isn't it? And be like, yeah, my mum said it. Yeah, like, man, my mum said monkey say, monkey do. Mm. And what is, whatever you want it to mean. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not kind of complicated, man. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Yeah. Everything is just funny. No, for real. Like, it's a very humorous language. But it's straight to the point as well. Yeah. Everything has that's a lesson in it. it. Mm. I think that's what, because everything has a lesson in it. It's funny, 
but you're learning at the same time. There's yeah. always a teaching going on. Mm. Every minute to try and educate the younger people. That's what they really? love doing. That like, puss and dog now have the same look. Yeah, man. Yeah, trust me. Tell them. Do you know what I mean? Puss and dog. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? <laughs> no one knows what it means. <laughs> like dogs and cats. Like. And then over here, it's raining cats and dogs. But we're talking about puss and dog now have the same look. And I just don't, I still don't know what that means. You don't know? Puss and dog. What's the saying? Like, what is it trying to say? I know the saying, but like, what are they trying to teach? That like, me and you are not the same. Oh, we're just not the same. Yeah, like, we, we don't have the same luck, literally. Like. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just like, why? Like, what? <laughs> why? Some of them from? are, you have to live by the Duppy know who mm. for Frighted is oh, when I live 100%. by. 100%. Because me too, I know who for Frighted <laughs> My road rage is selective. Oh, yeah, yeah no, 100%. Selective. Some people are too, other people. <laughs> Okay. You know what? Oh, there's four of you in the car? Let me just move this. Yeah. just going to scoot on over here. I'll actually. say sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Sorry for inconveniencing you, man. No worries. <laughs> Apologies. Sorry, sir. <laughs> but there are so many different phrases and they don't mean the same thing in English. That's why no. I used to get confused. Yeah. Like if someone's telling you you're too bright, you're not intelligent, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're in your... And you can't... There's certain things you can't... You just can't say in England. No. Like if someone calls you a dunce, you can't say that. No. Yeah. But to them, you're just, you're just not bright. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you could, I can't run over here. Mm-hmm. But it's like old English. Yeah. That's what I've noticed. A lot of it is old English, and we don't know the old English, yeah. but like our grandparents did. Exactly. So it makes more sense to them. Yeah. The jankro, I don't, still today, <laughs> I don't actually know what a jankro is. I just know it's bad. So if yeah, I call no, you a jankro, it's a negative same. connotation. Same. In it. I just don't, I don't know if it's a thief. I don't know if it's a bad person. I don't know if a... All of the above. All of the above, man. <laughs> you're a janker. If you're a janker, you're a janker. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. There's nowhere to look like everything up. Because there's some things my mum will say, like, when she's shocked, she'll be like, half stead and cold fat. But what are we saying? Like, what does that mean, though? What is it, like, in English? And no one knows. Horses dead, cow fat. I honestly think a lot of the things that they say, they don't actually know what it means either, mm. but. You have to keep it going. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's a tradition here. Just it is. Teach fly your the kids. flag. Exactly, man. Don't ask questions. <laughs> ask questions later. Exactly. Like. It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> well, my mum's funny, though, because she'll be chatting to me with her accent and everything. Pick up the phone. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> my nan does that. My nan, my nan, when my nan puts on a British accent, yeah, she just sounds like Medea. Why is it so posh? Though? Hello, like that's how. She, and I'm like, who is that? Hello, yes, good, good morning. Mm. How are you doing? To, why are you speaking like that? And he put down the phone. My bad, me. You know, like, like that. that. <laughs> it's just everyone's fake. Everyone's fake. It's the one before where it's ringing. They'll be like, oh, when, why this person are calling me? I mean, do you even want to talk to them? Hello. <laughs> oh, you it's changed. Fake. Yeah, you actually, fully changed. <laughs> And that's when they first show you their split personalities, man. That's when you first see it. We show hide it for you for a long time, but mm. you start to peek it. You yeah. start to peep it. Nine nights as well. Mm. Sleeping by the speaker. That's why I... nothing bothers me. You can't. There's I've nothing too everything. loud for my ears. I've slept through dancehall blazing in my ears, reggae blazing in my ears, house music blazing in my ears. Yeah, the parties go off. I'll sleep in a storm. My thing is the black people timing at parties though. Because how come my uncle's parties start at four o'clock, yeah? He was there before setting up everything and mm-hmm. so I'm just going home to get changed. You came back at 9 pm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and the party started at four. And it's just a universal thing of, yeah. oh, it starts at three, I'm not going to get there till 11. Mm. My friend says she, that, um, she went to a yardy rave yeah. the other day. She got there at 1 am and they were setting up. <coughs> What are you setting up at one o'clock in the morning? <laughs> That's crazy. And they'll carry on till 7 a.m. Yeah. You know? Eat your breakfast, go to work. What? <laughs> yeah, because we definitely saw the sunrise. Yeah. Like, it was 5 a.m. The sun was so. bright. Yeah. Another party. You've got to keep it going, man. <laughs> got to keep it going but yeah Kyra thank you so so much for coming on the show 
as part of the Windrush special, All Things Jamaica. Thank you for having me. Man. Yeah, man. Big up our ancestors. Amen. Big up the grandparents, parents, Every uncles, time. aunties, yeah. everyone that came over and for the reason that we're here today. God bless them, man.